There are many different types of stories out there, from romance to drama, science fiction to nonfiction. Two types of stories that are very well known are fairy tales and folk tales. These two types are very similar to each other, but still have their differences to make them fall under different classifications. One similarity is that both types of stories come from many centuries ago. These stories were passed down orally until they were written down later by well-known authors such as the Grimm Brothers and Hans Christian Andersen. This means that while Disney classics such as Cinderella or Aladdin are in fact fairy tales, they are not the original stories. Another similarity is that both fairy tales and folk tales involve a lesson or moral that must be learned. This could range anywhere from don't steal, to respect others, or to even not trust people. Finally, the genres are similar in that they were not just intended for children. Adults were also the targeted audience for these stories as they were both relatable and enjoyable. Unlike today, many thanks to censorship and Disney changing the stories, the original stories were oftentimes much darker and gorier than what we know of them today. For example, we all know Cinderella wore the glass slipper, but what most people do not know is that the evil stepmother cut off the stepsister's heels and toes in order for them to fit in the slipper. We are also led to believe that Ariel and the Little Mermaid lives happily ever after with Prince Eric, when in fact Ariel does not end up with the prince, instead dies when she turns into a sea of foam after the prince marries someone else. As you can see, many of these stories also share the same concept that not everything ends happily ever after. The differences are often very easy to spot. Fairy tales typically involve some type of magic. This magic is meant to either help or hurt the main characters. Magic can be in any forms, such as trolls, witches, or simply the use of magic or spells. Folk tales, on the other hand, do not rely on magic. Rather, the characters must use their own skills to find their way out of difficult situations. Folk tales are also very much more believable, in that they deal with real-life situations such as someone trying to take advantage of a character, as opposed to a fairy tale which might involve someone putting a spell on another character. Ultimately, both fairy tales and folk tales are meant to be entertaining lessons for everyone. While many stories today pull from the original, it is fun and interesting to see how different these stories were some time ago. Look up some of your favorite tales in their original forms and imagine being told those as your bedtime stories.